Your uh, lineup tonight, Coach, what does it look like? Um, <clears throat> Nemesnikov w will not play tonight. Uh, we'll hold him out again. Um, and uh, we have some guys taking warm-up. We'll make the decision on warm-up on some other guys. But uh, everyone else looks like they'll play. Um, and we'll make it a final decision on the uh, last spot in warm-up. Second to see from uh, Josh Norris tonight. Um, you know, yesterday in practice he was fast. He uh, he skated, and, and we're looking for that speed. We want him. You know, certainly there won't be as much room as there is down in the American Hockey League, but uh, he has speed. He has skill. He can shoot the puck. I look forward to seeing him on the power play. Um, we're going to give him a good opportunity to play um, and get some minutes. And you know, sometimes you get called up and you don't get put in good spots. We're going to try and put him in some good spots and uh, just let him play. You know. Uh, don't worry too much about the systems. Just go out there and play. Is it safe to assume that uh, Christian Molina has been encouraging in his little time he spent down in the minors? Yeah, I mean, it's going to take a little bit. Um, you know, he was off so long. Um, so, uh, you know, he's been doing all right down there. We're going to give him a little bit more time, certainly, um, and uh, and see how he continues to, to go down there. Um, but it's a tough injury he had, and, and it does take some time. I mean, some guys struggle even when they miss training camp, let alone to miss the time he had. So we'll give him a little bit more time to get his timing going. No, but he's played well when he came up the last couple of times. He's he's big, he's strong, he can skate. Um, you know, last couple of games he was real physical for us. Um, I, I've liked his game. So, um, you know, this is a really good forechecking team. This is a team that works hard, doesn't give you a ton of time with the puck. So he's going to have to hustle back and make some plays for us. Uh, but I love his compete level. Is trade deadline been a distraction for your team and all the no, I think it's more uh, people love like to make it more of a bigger deal, to get some news. And uh, but at the end of the day, the people that are being talked about, in the, uh, you know, in the trades, they're professionals. They've been in the game long enough. They know, um, you know, you got to play the game. And we got young guys on this team, and all year we've had guys up and down. Um, just got to play the game hard every night. That's what I've asked of them, and, that, and that's what they've done. So uh, I don't think so. Do you call him Mike to the wing tonight? No, he's going to play center. I'm going to uh, put Artie on the wing, um, and one will take the left draws, one will take the right draws. Um, but I think Whitey's played really well at center. I think he's starting to carry the puck more. I think he's had some confidence. Um, so we don't want to take that away. We want to continue with that process. White, you know what? He he's played really. He's played hard. He, he's playing. Um, you know, he's worked hard in practice. He's done a lot of things that don't show up on the score sheet for us. Um, it's hard to become a, a center and a dependable one in the National Hockey League. And the most important thing is away from the puck. And I think he's gotten a lot better at that for sure. And I only ask for distraction because you might have some guys in there thinking that maybe this is their last game. Um, it'd be tough. I mean, I, I don't see it. So, I mean, in their own heads, for sure. I mean, if anyone ever thought, um, you know, it was a last game, or especially when you spent significant time here, that certainly would be. Um, but where we're at as an organization and just getting better every day, um, you know, I, I, I think those guys are, are professionals and they don't let it get into the locker room. It'd probably be more at home. Um, but I suspect if, if they do think it, you know, it would be their last one, they're going to play a good one. And uh, we, we look forward to having a sold-out crowd here tonight, an exciting game. Well, they're desperate. Uh, they're fast. Um, they work. You know, we've had great games with them, and I take one of those again. It, it's, it's great for our guys to play those important minutes. I think, um, you know, uh, we've been in overtime every game, or at least the last two, I think. Um, and uh, there have been great games. Back and forth, not a lot of room, physical, uh, great development games for our group. And uh, for Josh Norris to come up and be a part of that here tonight, it's outstanding. I know it's been asked a bit since he's been out, but Mark Borbianski, is the swelling gone down enough to get a proper diagnosis or uh, maybe a timeline there? Um, yeah, it's such a great timeline. Um, you know, we. It, if everything healed up, you'd like to have him back maybe uh, by the end of the year, but we'll see how it is. Um, but he's out for the foreseeable future for sure. Um, you know, I, I seen him in the gym working out today. He's exceptional uh, conditioning, so he's in the gym today working out and doing all those things, but nowhere near skating.